Hello, welcome to Valve channel, I'm Stephen. Gate valve is the most common valve tape in valve industry and also gate valve are very widely used in flow control system. When we're going to design a gate valve, commonly we have two standards for this kind of valve. One standard is API 60 and another is API 600. So in this video we are talking about what is the difference between two standards and how to use two standards to design a gate valve. When we're going to design this kind of gate valve valve body, first we need to determine three basic size for the valve body. First one is the valve length, and the next one is the inside diameter, and the last one is flange size. So let's look at what is the difference between two standards to determine three basic valve size. When you're going to use APR600 to design a gate valve valve body, those three basic valve body size were determined by three valve standard. The first one is the flange size. Flange size determined by the standard ASME B16.5. The next one, valve length. Valve length was determined by the ASME B16.10. And the inside diameter, the valve body inside diameter, was determined by the standard according to the description, body body seats. The inside diameter will determine by the ASME B16.34. So in standard APR600, when you're going to design a gate valve valve body, those three basic valve size were determined by three standard. So let's look at uh, when you're going to use another standard APR60 to determine three basic valve body size, what kind of standard and what kind of table you're going to use. When you're going to use API 60 to design a gate valve, valve body, this standard are more specific because it already offer one table for you to design a gate valve, valve body for the valve links. The table called a gate valve face to face and end to end dimensions. So when you're going to design gate valve, valve body from API 60, the valve links you must follow this table to design to find the correct design factor for your design. This table are very easy to use because it already divided to different uh, uh, valve size and the different uh, product class. So it is very easy to find the correct design factor. And the next uh, valve size is the inside diameter. In API 60, it also offer one table for you to design the valve inside diameter. The table called a minimum ball for four open valves. So you must follow this table to design the valve inside diameter. This table already divided to different valve size and divided to different per class. It's also very easy to use to find the correct design factor for design. So that is the difference between API 60 and API 600 when you're going to design the three basic valve size for the valve body. API 60 offer two table for you to design the inside diameter and the valve length. But the API 600 just asks you to looking for the correct design factor from another two standard. And the last uh, valve size, the flange size in API 60 that is the same with API 600, it asks you to find another standard. It is ASME B16.5, that is a very important flange standard in valve industry. So that is the basic three differences between two standards for the three basic design factor in designing a valve body. So let's look at uh, other kinds of differences between two standards. When you compare two kinds of gate valve valve body designed by two kinds of standard, API 600 and API 60, according to the blueprint, the most difference between two kinds of gate valve is the valve gate. Here is the design for the API 600. The valve gate is a wedge form, is a wedge form. Here is the valve gate, and beside the valve gate is the valve seat. The valve seat are permanent welding inside the valve body. That is the design for the API 600 gate valve. But in API 60, the situation are different. We use a slab gate for the valve gate, and also the valve seat beside the valve gate are flexible. It can move inside the valve body. The reason why the API 60 use this kind of design for the valve gate and the valve seat, because in API 60, 
the valve must have one kind of function, which is called a pressure relief. The pressure relief means because API 60 is for the valve working in the petroleum and the natural gas industry. In this kind of industry, a lot of flow medium are very sensitive. The flow medium can trap the inside the valve cavity. With the outside temperature going higher, the inside pressure also going higher. Even can higher in the pressure inside the pipe. So that will be very dangerous for the valve body. So in API 60, when you're going to design a gate valve, the gate valve must have the function can relieve the pressure from the cavity to the pipe. But in API 600, we don't need to concern about that kind of situation. So we use this kind of design for the valve gate and the valve seat. So let's look at uh, how API 60 is going to design one kind of gate valve have that kind of function can relieve the pressure inside the cavity. Here is a gate valve designed by API 60. We can see inside the valve body is the valve gate, the slab gate. Beside the slab gate is the valve seat. Here is the valve seat. The valve seat located in the valve body. And also it can move inside, front and back. According to the description, the API 60 gate valve have one kind of function called a safe relieving cavity. So that means when the cavity have pressure inside and also when the pressure going higher, the cavity pressure can push the flexible valve seat back and relieve the pressure inside the cavity and relieve to the pipe. So that is the basic principle for the API 60 gate valve to relieve the pressure inside the cavity. And also one thing we need to be careful because the API 60, the gate valve, the valve seat are flexible. So we use O-ring to seal the valve seat and the valve body. Because O-ring made by soft material, this kind of material cannot work in high temperature environment. So most of the time, the API 60 gate valve cannot work in high temperature environment, like 200 Celsius degree environment. But the gate valve designed by API 600 Inside the valve body, everything is metal. So this kind of gate valve can work in very high temperature environment. So that is the difference between API 60 and uh, API 600 gate valve. Different valve seat, different uh, valve gate, and a different uh, valve working temperature environment. According to different design, two kind of standard will design two kind of gate valve work in different uh, industry. API 60 is for the valve will work in the petroleum and the natural gas industry because the valve have the pressure relief function and also it have enough inside diameter for the picking working inside to clean the pipe inside. The API 60 is kind of gate valve designed for the power plant and the chemical plant because the inside the valve everything is made by metal. It can work in very high temperature environment. So that is a several basic difference between two kinds of gate valve designed by two kinds of standard. Thank you for watching. See you next video. Bye bye.